Hi everyone, and Lao Tao represent the Lao Agronomy team. In my presentation, I will be focused on the adjective 4.4 and relate to the agronomy activities we have done so far in Laos. This slide, I would like to introduce you to our agronomy team. Mr. Sai Tong, he is the head of Kasawa Research Unit H, May and Kate Cross Research Center, Nafri. This picture showing all the members in the team. We have great teamwork. I thank them all for their help. The adjective 4.4 to determine agronomy practice, including variety, density, and fertilizer for the economy production of both cassava roots and cream planting material. Repeat multiplication system production plantlet they are feeding the multiplication field every two months. There was no data available on the root yield of this plant goal from the plant cutting. Thus, the focus of agronomy research was to find out optimal management packet for multiplication purpose. Before we go through activities, I would like to show you the vendor at Napo. Napo is the location of Maze and Case Core Research Center. We can see the blue bar here. Rain start from June and end in October. Red line is the daily temperature high haze and green line daily temperature low waste. The temperature very high in March and April, but no rain that time. So irrigation very important for cassava plant late that time and other month. Cropping calendar also need to consider. When planting and harvesting happen. This is a cropping calendar and a sample. Here I try to explain why we are conducting different variation of crop and different sowing day experiment. This is an example of cassava cropping calendar. Start of the arrow is planting and end the arrow is showing harvesting. Sand color do not are the same crop. You can see they are 10 month crop. It's always ship the planting days. So the demand of cassava stands can be away the throughout the year as industry is expanded in the region. On the top of the tunnel multiplication system producing planlets, about 1,000 for each channel every two months. So it is important to know yield, penalty, and the irrigation requirement for both multiplication purpose and industry purpose. The end of different irrigation crop 
and different study experiment was conducted. We have conducted different direction of crop and different sowing the experiment. This is an experiment we await call irrigation trial. The experiment have two treatment irrigation and no irrigation and had two cassava variety like KU50 and Rayong 11 also had three harvest time like this planting at a different time and harvest at full maturity time and planting at the same time and harvest at different time Calculate of energy when planting outside the optimum period. Additional irrigation requirement. Understand the incentive for farmer, privatizer, and publicator to modify production to product stands. This is the result of experiment. We planting the same type but have a three different types. We find out like harvest. We can get higher yield in irrigation treatment for both cassava variety, but many Industry they buy higher price for the early harvest and lower price indoor and late harvest. Sometimes farmers get income not much different between early harvest and late harvest. So depend on the level of farmer available. This is another experiment. Planting different day and harvest after 10 months. We using two cassava variety like KU50, Rayong 11 and two treatment, irrigation and no irrigation. This is the experiment. Planting different type and harvest after 10 months. The results show planting early can go better yield compared to planting late for both irrigation and no irrigation treatment. And the irrigation treatment got higher yield compared to no irrigation. So, but the middle tide or harvest the content got higher compared to early harvest and late harvest. Here, another experiment. We planting the same type but harvest different type. The results show middle type or harvest. The irrigation treatment got higher yield for both cassava variety. No irrigation treatment got higher yield compared to early harvest, but star content not much different. And the late harvest is still not done. So now we go to density experiment. The experiment has this treatment to cassava variety like KU50, Rayong 11, different spacing of planting and different way of fertilizer. For the Rayong 11, we using stem and cutting plant left from the tunnel, but for KU50, we use only cutting plant left from the tunnel. 
Here is the result of density experiment. The result showing radium element, the cutting panel from tunnel got higher yield compared to stem for all treatment, but KU50 got lower yield compared to radium element planting by stem. The lesson should be related to the planted tie and also location. Three experiments we conduct different locations, also different tie. Full stack content. Region 11 planting by stem got higher. But uh, Region 11 and KG50 from the cutting plant got lower. Because before harvest, the cutting plant leg, we got some rain, so make the stack content go down. For 2020-21, a 22 cropping season, the experiment is ongoing. We also done an experiment at Kunsap Company land. The experiment we using two cassava variety like KU50 and round 72. Each variety we planting by stem and also planting by the plant left from the tunnel. The experiment has this treatment apply different fertilizer and also different layer of fertilizer. The resource showing planting by stem got higher yield compared to planting by plant left from the tunnel. For both cassava variety, however, there was the infestation early on. They may have caused lower yield for the tunnel plantless because the tunnel plantless uh, not strong enough to survive for the beginning if no good weed management. The issue with the weeding due to COVID lockdown and we know we cannot go to the south the time. So good management practice will be the key for crop success. We also have conduct an experiment on cassava which is bloom disease to quantify the yield log due to disease. The experiment using two cassava variety like K50 and Rayong 11 has a treatment each variety using planting disease planting material and clean planting material for both cassava variety. Each material including fertilizer and without fertilizer. We apply 300 kg per hectare of MPK compound fertilizer. The result of this experiment showing K50 more infection compared to Rayong 11 and fertilizer may have positive effect on infection and fertilizer got higher yield but the content not much different. For the year 2021 and 22 cropping season, the experiment is ongoing. This is an, another activity for selection of C and D resistant chromes in Lao PDR. We received about 4,200 cassava true seeds from 32 unit crosses from Hill, Hawaii. 
regenerated seeds are now going at Napo, and the selection will be done very soon. The criteria of selection is plantai and root yield, and also select plant sent to intertet for checking CND2 marker. The generation of this seed very low in Napo. For the next 18 months, we plan to conduct several activities as below. Activity number one is replic multiplication in the tunnel system. Activity number two Harvest our trial from last year. And activity number three, planting density and fertilizer trial by compare stem cutting with the plant leaf from the tunnel. Activity number four, different harvesting day compared to stem cutting with the plant leaf from the tunnel. Activity number five, different planting dead using plant leaf from the tunnel. Activity number six, compare, comparing KU50 with IITA cassava variety at multi location. And activity number seven, continue the cassava which is boom DC uh, experiment for year three and the last is determine the relationship between soil health and cassava disease so these are the activity we need to done in the next 18 months in Laos. This is my presentation. Thank you.